So now that we got uh, this here, let's make some pillows. I'm just gonna um, move over here and we can uh, throw it on a box. We'll start with a box and we'll just kind of roughly model the shape of a pillow. And then we can use vellum to get a nice, uh, another vellum brush to get a nice kind of design that lands on our geometry over here. I'm just gonna untick the template flag on the couch and let's grab the box and let's bring the uh, size of the box down to say a value of 0.3. And um, I think compared to the couch, it's going to be a little bit big. So I'm going to just template the couch again. And maybe let's just bring the uniform scale down to say, yeah, 0.75, something like that. It's good. And uh, I'm just going to turn off the template flag on the couch. And let's continue shaping our box here. Um, obviously, this doesn't look like a pillow. Let's subdivide it. So let's throw in a subdivide node. I'm just going to wire this in here. And let's do uh, two subdivisions. And I'm going to override the crease weight attribute a little bit to get it a little bit more kind of pillowy shaped. I just kind of want a nice like kind of square shaped pillow. And so let's just kind of uh, tweak these corners out a little bit more so they're a little bit sharper and this is a little bit more in a square shape. So I'm going to hit the S key to go into selection mode. I'm going to make sure I'm, uh, I've got point selection mode on. And I'm just going to start selecting these corner most points. So I'm just going to select this first point. Now I'm going to come over here and shift click this point right here and shift click this point and then shift click this point. So I've got those four points selected with my mouse over the viewport. If I hit tab and type soft transform and then hit enter, you can see that that uh, plops this uh, soft transform node down for us over here. And it has our group selection that we just made. So it's using, we're going to be soft transforming these four points that we uh, selected in our viewport here. Um, so now that we have this here, uh, let's try and scale these uh, corners up a little bit. So if I middle mouse drag on this scale button right here, you can see that it's not only grabbing those points, but it's grabbing this heat map fall off of points that are around those points. And I can adjust that fall off using this soft radius parameter here. So as I decrease that soft radius, you can see that it's having more or less influence on uh, points that are nearby those uh, soft transform points. So let's just, um, let's set our soft radius to something like, maybe something like, yeah, 0.15 is good. And then for the overall scale, let's bring that, let's, let's say we'll bring that down a little bit to a value of uh, 0.13, yeah, 0.13 on the X, Y, and Z axes like so. And now we can kind of uh, prepare this for vellum, similar to what we did uh, over here. So let's um, let's do a remesh like what we did over here. I'm just gonna hit tab and type a remesh and wire that in here. And we can uh, take a look at what size of remesh we want. It looks like this is obviously too big. So let's try a value of say 0.05. That looks uh, nice for our pillow geometry. And now let's throw down our constraints. So in this case, you know, over here we use the cloth constraints. In this situation, we actually kind of want to use a soft body constraint because this isn't just a, a sheet of cloth. This actually has kind of stuffing inside of it. So we're going to want a little bit different behavior than just straight up cloth. So there's another type of vellum uh, constraint uh, setup we can use, and that's called uh, strut soft body. So let's hit tab and say vellum soft body. So we've got this option right here that says vellum configure strut soft body. There's also tetrahedral soft body that can give you a uh, different type of results uh, when you're looking for more fleshy, voluminous, you know, masses. But in terms of this type of pill simulation, I found that the strut soft body looked pretty good. So we can try that one. I'm just going to click on strut soft body and drop it down here. You can see this actually drops down two nodes for us. One of them is the cloth node. And the other one is the struts node. And this is gonna create um, sort of constraints inside of this like cloth shell to kind of help it maintain a little bit of volume. So let's just wire our remesh into the first one. And let's just highlight our um, vellum struts and you can see uh, we've got them here. You can't really see them. If I hit W key to go into wireframe mode, you can see the struts have sort of, they're kind of occupying the space inside of the uh, pillow in case you're interested in what the constraints look like for that. Um, so now uh, what we could do is actually gra grab this pillow and kind of position it in space. Uh, so let's kind of go back to looking at what our couch looks like. We've got our couch here. I'm just gonna scroll around to the front and maybe after the remesh, what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna highlight the remesh and position this uh, before we create our constraints, just so that we have this sort of set uh, ahead of time. So I'm gonna throw down a transform node here. And like we did before with the cloth, 
I'm going to just kind of move this up. Uh, let's just put the display fig on the transform node so I can see where it is. And I'm just going to move this up here and we're going to just drop this on this side of the couch. So I'm just going to kind of position this uh, up so it's a little bit above here. Maybe I'll give it a little bit of rotation like that. And maybe I'll just kind of set it right here so it's, you know, ready to fall onto this couch. And um, let's also add a vellum brush over here. So we need our vellum brush. And we can wire all of these things into that like so. And we also are going to need the collision that we used uh, for our couch collider as well. So I'm going to actually grab, uh, I could just grab a null off of here and drag that over. Um, but then it's starting to cross this wire. So what I could actually do is hold down alt and drag on one of these uh, lines and get it to kind of join together and keep it out of the way of that other remesh so we can kind of keep things organized like so. So let's go to our vellum brush. And I'm going to just go to uh, the forces section and set it to settle mode. And then we can see here that our pillow just drops nicely onto the couch. I'm just going to reset all changes, kind of show that again. So we can come in over here and we'll go to settle mode. You can see our couch pillow just kind of drops and lands nicely onto our, um, our couch like that, which is kind of nice. And we can, you know, like we did before, we can switch this to drag mode and maybe increase the size of this and kind of drag it out a little bit here and kind of position it on our couch like so. It looks like a little bit low friction going on here. So maybe I'll increase the static friction to two again, like we did before and try grabbing this and kind of tossing it onto the, uh, onto the couch. Um, so that it looks uh, nice, like a nice uh, throw pillow there. You know, we're actually throwing, throwing the throw pillow, you know, which is kind of cool. So um, now I can now I see we got this. Maybe we want to do let's try it again, but let's do it with two pillows. Maybe we want a couple pillows in this corner. So I'm going to actually uh, let's just reset all changes on the vellum sim and let's just make a let's just make a copy of this pillow. I'm going to merge it together right here. Let's just bring this down and I'm going to throw it on a merge and we're just going to make an alternate transform of this. So I'm just going to actually hold down the alt key and drag this transform off to the side. And we're going to merge these two transforms together. I'll just highlight this merge right now. And we're just going to grab this second transform and just move it off to the side. And you can see now we've got two pillows here that we're using together. I just want to make sure they're not really intersecting with one another. So I'm just going to bring them apart a little ways like so and move them like that. And uh, let's see what happens when we sim this now. So I'm just going to take the output of this merge and wire it into the vellum cloth. And it's going to make two pillow constraint setups for us. And let's go back to the vellum brush and switch over to, uh, well, we're going to say reset all changes so that it kind of um, acknowledges that we've created a second pillow here. Say so reset all changes. Uh, let's try that again. Reset all changes. Cool. We've got our two pillows. And let's just uh, click live simulation mode, or uh, we'll click settle from this drop down menu in forces and make sure live simulation mode is checked on. And there we've got our pillows settling nicely. Uh, maybe I'll just uh, drag this one over a little bit and, um, you know, maybe maybe we want to rotate both of them. So I'll just make my brush really big and switch to rotate mode and kind of click on them. You can see that we're rotating them one way. Maybe I'll um, hold down control and click on them and you can see we're kind of rotating them the other way onto our uh, couch like so. You can kind of get them stuck nicely onto our couch like that. I'm just going to untick live simulation so that they stop simulating and um, yeah, it looks like we've got a nice, uh, we've got our throw pillows positioned nicely. Let's, let's, uh, let's bring it all together here. So now that I like what I have here, I'm going to just go onto the vellum brush and hit the lock flag again, just to lock this geometry. And so we've got our, our cloth here. We've got our throw pillows here and we have our overall, uh, couch up here. And so let's just throw it on a merge and bring them all together. And so we can wire in the first vellum brush, the second vellum brush, and the couch all together like so. And so we can see that we sort of kind of built a nice little scene with some cloth simulations and it's starting to look pretty cool. One last thing I'd like to do before wrapping up this section is just throw down some more of my nice uh, little nulls here that I like to use to label my stuff. So um, similar to what we did with all this section up here, I'm just gonna go down here and let's label what this is. So I'm just throw on a null and we're gonna put down we're going to say that this is a place where we can grab onto. This is going to be our blanket and we'll color that purple. I'm just going to hit the C key to bring up my color palette and click the purple button there. And over here, let's grab another null. 
throw down a null, and these are going to be our throw pillows. And yeah, we'll just highlight, uh, we'll grab this null and type in uh, throw pillows. And I'll make this one purple as well. After this uh, final merge, we can say um, another null and call this couch with uh, decorations. I don't know, whatever. Just something that, something descriptive that makes sense. So here we've got our, um, our couch with our uh, throw pillows and our blankets and everything all uh, merged together. And uh, we can uh, now move on to the next section.